Hello and welcome to Biology 104, Principles of Biology 2. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through the orientation process to get you used to coming online and using your Blackboard homepage to, to maneuver around to find your information, your assignments, your assessments such as your quizzes, your exams, um, to see the calendar, to figure out what's going on for that week, um, just to kind of get you used to using Blackboard. We're beginning here on your home page. Hopefully you know how to get to your, um, to your home page because you are online listening to this orientation class. So I'm guessing you're okay so far. But what you'll do is once you do log in, this will be the screen that you see with a picture of your biology book. And you'll see two little areas, one with this getting started and one that says module one. Now getting started is what we're going to what we're going to go through today, this orientation process, um, which is going to require you to go through several um, assignments to look at um, the syllabus, to take a syllabus quiz, all sorts of things like that. But we'll get to that here shortly. Um, also, you'll see over here uh, module one. Underneath there you see classification and animal architecture. What module one consists of is everything that will go towards your first exam in this class. Now, as of right now, module one is up. Um, as soon as we get through module one and take exam one, module one will go away and it, module two will pop up with all the information that will be on exam two. Underneath these modules, you see my name listed here, Leanne Judah. Uh, the phone number, the direct line to my office, and also my email. Now, I do have my email address listed here, but for this course, I, we are going to use over here on the left-hand side the mail. This is the internal mail for the Blackboard. This is how we're going to um, correspond to one another back and forth. Um, of course, if this is not working properly, then we will revert back to my LBWCC email address. But for now, we're going to use the internal mail, which we'll get to momentarily. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you'll see your course content and everything that I have lined up for you. You see at the top is a link to the um, LBWCC library. Uh, if you click on that, it's going to take you straight to our library page. Um, the online catalog, uh, world libraries, Alabama virtual library, anything that you might need access to through our library is through that link there. If you click back on course content, that's going to bring you back to your home page. Um, you'll see announcements. These are where basically just reminders that I'm giving you to let you know of upcoming events, things that you just need to be reminded about. I will list here for you in announcements. Assessments, these are where your quizzes, <coughs> excuse me, your exams, things of that nature will be located. Assignments will be assignments that you will have to, um, of course, download onto your computer, um, work on, and then email to me, send to me as an attachment. The calendar will, of course, have what's going on every day, every week, throughout the semester. The chat is kind of like our instant messenger. Of course, you can't just chat with anybody. You can only chat with someone who was online at the time. Down here at the bottom, you'll see who's online. That will, if you click on that uh, right now, you see I'm online. So um, that would mean that you and I could chat if you wanted to click on chat. Go back up here and click on chat. You see common room. There's no partic participants inside. But basically what you would do is you would um, click on, oh, look at there, click on common room. And it'll say, welcome to chat and whiteboard. Chat is loading. Please wait. And then that'll just take you to a little a little chat room. And you can send a message to somebody um, and get them to talk back and forth with you. Okay. Um, getting back to course content. Discussions. This uh, is a discussion board. Um, you see here that there are some topics listed. Right now, there's a de default topic, which we're not going to worry with. But you do have two topics here, learning styles and hello. Um, and you see underneath each of those, they kind of have some directions. Um, we're going to get more into that discussion here in a moment, though. But it's, it's like any discussion board that you've done before. Um, goals, we're not really going to, you're not going to use that that much. Learning modules. 
are basically what is located here on your home page, such as getting started in module one. If you didn't want to get through them by clicking on either one of them, you can come over here to the left hand side and click on learning modules and it will take you to all of your modules and you can click on those and it will take you to the same place. All right, let's go back to course content. Mail is of course that internal mail. Um, you see here, uh, it's it's just like your email. Um, to create a message, you click on create a message. And it comes up and you, it says to. What you would do is you'd click on browse for recipients. You see as of right now, the only person that can receive mail is me because there's nobody in the class as of right now. So you would just click on me if you wanted to carbon copy it to me, blind CC it to me, whatever you needed to do. And then you would save that. And then you see my name would pop up right up here. If you wanted to add anybody else, you certainly could. If you wanted to get rid of me, you could do that as well. It's just your subject line. Type your little message in. If there's an attachment that you need to do, um, you'd click on Add Attachments, and it would this would pop up. Get Files is basically basically how you can, um, if you wanted just to um, save your files to your blackboard rather than just saving everything to your computer you can do it that way but you just click on your computer and then you go find whatever oh well my computer's going haywire here for half a second you would find yeah i don't know what's going on there okay maybe you wanted to send me a schedule and you would click on that and then it is now attached here. Uh, you can preview it before you send it and make sure you've got on there what you need. You can cancel it. You can save it as a draft or you can just send it on to me. But we're going to cancel that because I don't need to receive anything. You can also check your mail to see if you have anything in your inbox. As of right now, there are no messages in the inbox. Uh, you can see what mail you've sent. You can. It's, it's just like your email if you're using Hotmail or Yahoo or any of those like that. Now you see over here to the left that all of our little buttons have condensed down and we can't see their names next to the tabs anymore. To get that to come back out, you just click on this, these two little arrows and that will expand it back out. If you wanted to, you could collapse it back down, but let's expand it back out. We're going to click back on course content to take you back to the home page here. All right, um, roster, you're not going to worry with that. Web links, these are just links that I have put up that will help you um, while you're taking this class. Uh, just to look at a couple right now, I have up a learning styles inquiry. You will go there. That's also part of one of your discussions is to click on there and you'll take this um, inventory and it'll tell you what kind of learner you are. If you rely more on verbal skills, auditory, um, kinesthetic, um, any of those uh, styles and also here's Course Compass. This is a link to uh, the actual website for your textbook, but those are just little. Um, and I'll add, I'll be adding some more as we go along. Uh, who's online? Once again, that just shows you who is online at that time. You can click there to send a chat invitation. Um, but basically, the most that you're going to be using announcements, assessments, assignments, the calendar. Discussions, learning module, mail, web links, and who's online. Those are going to be the major ones. Now, down here under my tools, you'll see that there's my grades, my progress, integrity. If you click on my grades, that actually is going to keep up a grade of everything that all the uh, quizzes that you actually take on Blackboard. They'll be automatically graded and go, go into a grade book, and you'll be able to view that on here. Um, integrity. This will take you to my integrity recordings um, so that you can view the lectures that you need to view for that week. Um, but that link is always going to be right down here. All right, let's see. Um, just to kind of get you familiarized, let's click on get, getting started. This is the very first thing that you're going to do um, to begin this course. Before you can even begin module one, you have got to go through getting started. You see here, this is an orientation for the Bio 104 hybrid course that you are registered in. So let's click on that. All right. If you look over here to the left-hand side, you see a table of contents for getting started. This is everything that is going to be involved in what you're going to be do with this, what you're going to be doing with this module. Um, 
first up, getting started module objectives. Now you see that it just pops up right here for you, the objectives for getting started. We're going to acquire knowledge of how to navigate in this online course. Well, we know this isn't a fully online course, but the lecture portion is. This is a hybrid course, so I will be seeing you every week. You're pretty bright and shining face in lab. Uh, we're going to develop an understanding of evaluation policy, developing an understanding of the course in general, acquire knowledge of the course requirements, and develop an understanding of all of the college policies and procedures. All right. Now, if you wanted to uh, print this all for your records, I have submitted this as a PDF form, a PDF file. So really, all you have to do is go right here, press print, or you can save it to your computer. Or if you wanted to say, I, save it as a file to your Blackboard, whatever you wanted to do. Um, but there's that. Um, always, 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 this is a table of contents, just like if you were going to read a book. You don't just skip ahead. You start at the beginning and you work your way down. And that's what you're going to do every time you get on here. Okay? That getting started module. Now, if by chance, when you click on one of these, a little thing pops up here at the top that says you've got to download something, that's fine. You need to download it. It might kick you back out um, to your initial Blackboard screen where you have to click on your course to get into here. Um, but hopefully that won't do that because I have downloaded everything as a PDF file. Um, the one thing you do need to make sure of, and I'm sorry I haven't told you about this prior um, to right now, is up here where it says pop-ups okay, you need to let pop-ups be okay because Blackboard is heavy on pop-ups. And if you have... Um, um, if you are disallowing pop-ups, that is really going to mess you up. So you need to make sure, make, make sure that you've got it okay for pop-ups to pop up. All right. So the next thing you see here under the getting started table of contents, number two is instructor information. That just tells you a little bit about me. Um, then there's my syllabus is listed. Please go through this syllabus with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you have looked at everything. This gives you the requirements that you need for the online portion of this course. Um, it's got everything that you need to know about the course. There's the technology requirements, um, technical support numbers. If you are having problems, you need to contact um, some of these men right here. They will help you along with your problem. Now because if you're having problems getting on to Blackboard and you haven't printed off your syllabus, how are you going to get their numbers? So my suggestion to you is go ahead and print this off as soon as you can. Go ahead and print off the syllabus so that you have a hard copy of it. Save it to your computer if you want. There's a little save button so whatever you need to do. But there are the learning objectives. We're going to learn a lot in here. <laughs> uh, you see PowerPoint lectures uh, using integrity and Blackboard. The attendance policy, pay, pay close attention to all of this. Um, you need to know it all, of course. Um, all right. It's got, you know, evaluation procedures, all that kind of stuff. But you can take a look at that a little later. The next thing you see is the getting started integrity. Well, that is what you're viewing now, which is our orientation, what I'm doing for you now. Um, past that, things you should know. Just a few little helpful ideas for this course. Okay. Um, frequently asked questions. If you're having some problems, see, what if my documents will not open? More than likely you have a pop-up problem, so make sure you deal with that. And then the last thing you see down here is the getting started quiz. Now, if you click on this, this is going to take you well, it shows you that the assessment is not currently available because I am recording this in October, and this course doesn't start till January, so of course it's not available. But uh, it'll have a description up here. Of course, the description for this is that it is the quiz about getting started. So um, it tells you everything about it, when it's available, um, when it goes away. You need to pay attention to these dates. Every time you have a quiz, there will be a starting date and an ending date. You need to pay attention. Now, these times are Eastern Standard Time. Now, we live in Alabama, which is Central Standard Time for the most part. 
I don't know how to change it from Eastern Standard to Central Standard. I'm not sure if anybody does. So you need to make sure if this is 1230 Eastern Standard Time, what time is it really? Central Standard Time. So please be aware of this. It also tells you how long you have to take um, your test. You have 30 minutes to take your quiz. So as soon as you click on Begin Assessment, the time starts. So don't start the quiz. Any quiz you take in here, do not start it until you are 100% sure that you're ready because as soon as you click Begin Assessment, the time starts ticking away. And it ends when you click Finish. Um, it also tells you how the questions are delivered. You see here questions can be answered in any order because you can revisit questions. All right, and it's worth 20 points there. Okay. Let's. All right, the last thing you see over here is you see discussions. Um, now, you see under here you have two discussions listed, 8.1 and 8.2, Hello and Learning Styles. If you click on the first one, that takes you to a description of your discussion. You see here, tell us a little about yourself, respond to others as they post their biographies. We need to get to know about all of you. Um, well, not only did it take you to a description, it actually took you to the discussion itself. So as of right now, of course, nobody has posted. But once again, you would click on Create Message. This will pop up, and it's kind of like an email. You just put your subject. You tell us all about yourself. If you want to add an attachment, like a picture, so we can see your pretty little face, you certainly can do that. Um, Preview, you might always want to preview it before you post it, um, just to make sure everything makes sense. And then finally, you'll just click post, and it will post to our message board. Um, also, when others post, you will be able to, okay, let's just create a message right now so you can see this. And we'll just say hi. Um, and we'll say hi again here. Okay, we'll post that. And now we see that. Our demo student has said hello. They said hi. So if you wanted to read what they wrote, you would just click on there. And it's opened up. Well, if they said something interesting and you would like to reply back to them, you just hit reply. And then you type in your little message back to them. And we'll just say hi back and post it. And now you see this little plus mark. That sh if we clicked on the plus, that shows us our original message and then our reply message. Um, so please utilize this. Discussion is, of course, part of your grade. If a, if a discussion is listed, that means you have to do it. All right, you see over here we also have a learning styles discussion, but you can complete that when you go back and actually go through your getting started module. Okay, if we want to return back to the home page, here's our course content once again. Um, just clicking on Module 1, you see everything is listed for you over here. Now, you see it just has the primary um, heading here. To see what's listed below, you would click on the little plus sign. And you see that there are the objectives for Module 1 I've listed for you. If you go down here, our integrity lecture that you need to view is there. Of course, the link is not valid right now because... I'm waiting to put that up until it gets closer time. Lecture notes. Now you are going to need to, I'm going to click on that for you. You're going to need to actually print off these lecture notes because the lecture notes are going to help you as you view the Tegarty lectures. That way it's not just you're trying to write down every little thing because even though the Tegarty is listed as PowerPoint, you're not going to be able to print that off. So you can't actually print off the PowerPoint presentations. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to actually watch the lectures and take notes. I've tried to help you out here. Um, some of it is there for you, of course. There's a lot of stuff that you got to fill in, and the only way you can fill that in is to watch the lecture. Okay, so you're going to want to print those off before you actually go back and watch the lectures. And how can you get to the integrity lectures? Well, Eventually, you'll just be able to, this will be in blue, and you'll be able to click that, and it'll take you to the Tegrity Lecture. But you can also come down here to your Tegrity button located at the lower left-hand corner, click on that, and then pick out the one labeled Classification Lecture. 
All right, let's can collapse that back down. Underneath lecture notes, you're going to see uh, lecture quizzes. Let's pull this out a little. It says module one, quiz one. So this is the first quiz in module one. If you click on it, it's going to take us eventually. Here we go. It's going to take us to quiz one. Well, of course, the assessment is not currently available, but it has a description. Classification quiz covering phylogenetics. You will need your book. Now, not every quiz will need your book, but this one does. You will need access to your book for here. Once again, you see when it's available. Starting January 11th, it goes away January 18th. You have 30 minutes to complete it. Um, all right, let's see. Integrity lecture, you'll watch your second integrity lecture for module one. Your lecture notes for that lecture are right here. You'll have another quiz that you'll take that will cover this portion, cover the um, lecture notes about animal body plan. And then you also see down here review questions. Um, let's click on there. Exam one review questions. Okay, there you go. Just to help you out there with some review questions. You will need to, of course, um, because this is one of your assignments, you will need to um, download it to your computer, answer them, and then email it to me as an attachment. And then finally, the last thing you see is exam one, and the reason it's not highlighted is because I have it hidden for right now so that um, you are not able to see that. All right, let's go back up here to course content. The last thing that I want to go over is the calendar. Oh, one other thing I want to tell you really quickly. You see this little green dot here? That little green dot means that new items are available, meaning anytime you see a green dot, maybe next to assessments, announcements, assignments, or learning modules, means that something new has been added since the last time you've been here. So you will need to check that out. Uh, but let's go to the calendar for right now. Let me get us on our future. And you'll see that there are listings here already. You see, we will actually begin classes January 8th of 2009. And so you see that you're going to need to do the getting started orientation, which you are doing right now. And then you're going to need to go and start viewing the classification lecture. Both of these lectures will be available for one week. You see, I posted it on Thursday, and then something new comes up the next Thursday. So you'll have a week's time. Notice on Sunday. Module 1, Quiz 1 is available, as well as getting the Getting Started quiz. Quizzes come available on Sundays, and you have a whole seven days to finish them. Because you see on the 18th, now it says Module 1, Quiz 2 is available. So you have a complete seven days to finish these quizzes. Or, well, not to finish them, but to actually complete the quiz. Um, so it will come up on the Sunday, the Sunday before, and it goes away the Sunday after. All right? Now you notice, even though Module 1, Quiz 1 is available all through this point, all of a sudden your next lecture comes available, and you'll need to view it. And you see on the next Sunday, Module 1, Quiz 2, covering that second lecture portion, comes available. And it will be available until the 25th. Okay? And the reason that it will be available until this time is because um, you will have an exam at this point in here. I just don't have that listed for you right now. You also see on the 20th, module one, question, uh, module 1 review questions are due. If you click on that, it tells you to answer all the review questions about, exam, about Module 1 and submit them to me. Now, what you'll do is if you want to, the way that you'll do this is, once again, you will have downloaded the review questions to your computer, answer them, save it to your computer, and then you will add it as an attachment. You'll click Add Attachment, once again. Um, click on your little computer. If you want to select files individually, you can. And it'll. You, if you wanted to attach more than one file, you can do it that way. Um, such as if you wanted to attach, we'll just pick something. Well, if I did it the right way to begin with. Okay. Okay. So I've I've attached two things. Hit OK. And now that you will see them both right here as attachments. 
okay so that's how you would send that to me if you wanted to give me a comment or whatever and then you click submit and that will send it to me um, for grading all right let's go back to that calendar let us get back in January all right um, now any day um, even if it's not highlighted in blue, if you wanted to, if you see here, Animal Architecture Lecture, and you click on that day, it gives you a description. Okay, you need to view the Tegarty Lectures on Animal Architecture. That's, that's what that whole day is about, okay? Um, let's see. Here, I have holiday posted, January 19th. There's no lab today, so I don't get to see you that week, and I'll be so disappointed. Um, I know you will too, but you also see that I also have lab day listed, and that just reminds you, one to four, you need to see you. You need to be on campus because we're having lab that day. Um, all right, let's go back to course content. Um, I think pretty much we've gone through what you need to know. Um, if you do, let's go to assessments. Okay, uh, assessments I have listed here, the Getting Started Quiz, Module 1, Quiz 1, Module 1, Quiz 2. Of course, once again, they're not available for you right now. When they become available, they will be highlighted in blue and you will be able to click on them. But once again, make sure you look at the start times and the end times. It gives you um, instructions if needed. Okay, go back to course content. Once again, here you have your modules listed here. If you don't want to go through them through your home page, you just come over here and click on Learning Modules, and it will take you to those modules. You see we have seven in this course, so there's a lot of information we're going to get through. Um, go back to Course Content. If Now, once again, with your assessments, they will be graded as soon as you finish them on the computer. There will be a grade given to you. If you have a problem, if the quiz... If the computer's not grading the quiz correctly, if there's an issue with one of the questions, just email me and tell me about the problem. Tell me the quiz number and all that, and we'll get that straightened out. Um, if you have any other questions, of course, contact me anytime. Send me an email. Call me. Come by and see me. I'd love, love to see you in person, too. Um, but do remember, uh, every Monday we're going to have labs, so I need to see your bright and shining face, uh, ready to go with some biology. Uh, I think that's everything you need to know, but once again, if you do have any questions, please contact me. Have a great day.